Hi bagaholics! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anastasia. I'm a luxury bag lover, collector, authenticator and I own a consignment store that has a bunch of beautiful Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes, Dior, Gucci, handbags. If you're interested in any of that, you can check out the link below. Now, today's video is not about bags, but it'll actually cover a topic that is very important to me at the moment, and I guess it may also be very important to you, and it's a serious one. How do you survive through the uncertainty and through the time you are facing loss? You're facing loss of your job, loss of your business, and loss of money due to something that is unrelated to you and something that you can't control. And the reason I actually decided to do this video is I lost 40% of my savings two weeks ago and it's actually a hard time currently and uh, I was thinking about the ways to cheer myself up and well, the ways that could also help others to live through this difficult time. Hopefully you are not facing a similar situation right now, but uh, if you faced loss of something you really cherished due to coronavirus, this video is for you. As I began researching, I remembered what I learned at uh, Tony Robbins' training. There are three words that are very scary for any human being, and these words are loss, less, and never. We are afraid of a loss of something that we love. We are afraid of that we can, might cut down the expenses and live on a lower level of life, lower lifestyle. And we are afraid that we will never be able to regain the same lifestyle again. And the worst part is that you can't do a lot about it. Well, usually when you are in your usual mood and well, you feel yourself powerful and you feel that what you do is meaningful and important, you will just get up and say, okay, I will spend this day laying on my couch and thinking of a plan to conquer the world with whatever I'm doing. In this scenario, there is little, something big is happening all over the world and all you have to do, all you can do is wait and just believe that it will be fine, which is very hard to do, by the way. And uh, as I was thinking about it, I remembered another book that I really admire and that I want to recommend to everyone going through the same thing right now. It's a book by Viktor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning. And I know I'm in no position to compare a concentration camp life experience to self-isolation during the uh, coronavirus. However, I've read it once again this week and it seems like a lot of what Viktor Frankl was going through at that moment is very similar to what we are going through right now. Let me cite that. When you have went through a loss, not only you don't know what to do with the newly acquired free time, you also don't understand the meaning of it. It's like everything you've done before is not working and you will either have to try it another way or just stop trying or whatever thought that comes to your mind is seems to be a little depressing. And logotherapy, the method that Viktor Frankl discovered, uh, helps to gain meaning in life in three different ways. It's by creating a work or doing a deed, it's by experiencing something or encountering someone, and by the attitude we take toward unavoidable suffering. Well, apparently, considering self-isolation, the second method doesn't work for us right now, so the only ones that we have left We've got to keep ourselves busy and we've got to change the attitude. And while changing the attitude might not be the easiest thing when you feel depressed or down, keeping yourself busy, I believe that's something that any of us can do. So here's something I found as an answer to this question, like what do I do now? What do I do now when I don't have strength or power to do anything, when I don't want to do anything? Uh, how do I recover? Well, I know I will recover eventually, and you know that no matter how painful was your loss, you will recover and there will be a better day. 
The question is, what do you do now when you are unable to do anything uh, real? First thing I do, I do sports. And I bet that's one of the most important thing you can do when you're down, when you feel depressed, when you feel bad. Because whenever you are doing sports, first you release the tension from the body and well, you instantly feel better though like nothing in your life has changed. And second, there are these hormones of happiness which are born and released into your blood whenever you're doing physical activity. So no matter what your favorite sport is, you gotta start doing something. Even if you don't want it, if you don't believe in it, uh, just start doing it and it will show the result. My favorite sport is yoga and I try to do yoga every day and I've never felt worse after a yoga training than I felt before the training. So that's something to consider. Second thing I do, I read my favorite books and I watch my favorite movies. And well, whenever I'm down, the books are really what's keeping me alive and what's distracting me from anything that's going on in my life. And it doesn't matter whether it's an, a fiction book or a non-fiction book. It's better to be fiction, of course, because you are like going into a different world and you're living in this world for as long as you're reading the book. But uh, non-fiction literature, that's something that you might consider as well. Believe me, when you've been reading your favorite book the whole day, you will feel different in the end of the day. That's for you to find out but uh, I always do. The third thing I do, I learn. Online education is booming and there are a variety of courses on each and every topic you might be interested in. So watch out for this. I bet you always wanted to learn cooking or baking or doing marketing, doing social networks for your business or your company. So do that now while you have this time and this amazing opportunity to allocate more time for your self-education. And fourth, take out your bucket list. I bet you have one and I bet not all of them are like touch a zebra in Kenya or watch a waterfall on Bali. I mean, some of the items from our bucket list don't even suggest that we have to go somewhere. Like, for example, I've always wanted to write a book and I've always wanted to do more writing, to do a blog or some kind of books. And that's an amazing opportunity to do that because, well, you have more time than generally than in your everyday life. And instead of facing the existential crisis and existential vacuum, and that's a something that this book perfectly describes, instead of that, you could do your life more meaningful. And it can be through a taking care of your family, through doing something. And I bet this fulfillment you will get from implementing something that you've been wanting to implement for months or even years by trying something you've never tried, by creating something new that you've never done before, this fulfillment will make your life brighter and you will recover from this painful feeling much faster. I'll be glad to hear from you. What do you recommend? What do you do when you feel depressed, down, when you don't know what to do, when you don't have inner power to do what you've been doing. If you share it with me and the others who are watching this video, that will be great. Thank you for watching. If this video was useful, if it helped, just subscribe to the channel and like the video and see you next week.